Hello, my name is Maria Perez. I am from San Antonio, Texas. 34 years ago, I was a victim of human trafficking. Hello, I'm Brian Shree from Texas. As a previous probation pro officer who supervised the most violent and repeated sex offenders in Florida and in Texas, human trafficking continues to this day as one of the most heinous crimes of modern day society. I'm Kimberly Trapani, all consuming film. Right now, traffics are robbing a staggering 24.9 million people of their freedom and basic human dignity. That's roughly three times the population of New York City. They, they did call the police, uh, but the, the police declined to uh, file a report. They didn't do anything. They listened to the story and said, well, there's nothing we can do for you. Although she was four, she's she's actually very petite for her age. So she she could have passed for a two year old, and that's that makes it even worse. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're trying to take a child that they think won't even put up a fight. And the area was not appropriate for any good woman to be at. It was more of a men's bar. When I saw him opening the trunk, I didn't want to get off. I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave from that area. I just wanted to stay stuck in my seat. And he remembers, he says, get off the vehicle. And he shows me his gun. So I got off the vehicle and I was very much wanted to run. You have no idea how much I wanted to run, but I couldn't run in those shoes. Um, and I remember seeing seeing a church on my left-hand side. And then to, in me, I was praying to God. It the church, the area I was at, that's when he put me in the trunk that he drove, was driving me to, to the border. operate in a direction that is a little bit more logical <laughs> and that's where the controlling and that's where he was no and now i own you to say and i'll say it again america has to get better at fixing a broken system mm -hmm in ways of direct communication with legislators and having human trafficking, child abuse, violence, child sex crimes, pedophilia, rape, domestic violence, a priority of the legislators. And until it happens to a member of the government. We can only create a sense of urgency for them by staying in their face. Kidnapped because she was taken by a stranger without permission. And so that's the very definition of kidnapping. So she did successfully kidnap her. She just didn't get away with her. If you tell anyone, I will hurt you and your family. Potentially, she could have gone later on and, and, and maybe kidnapped other children, maybe have multiple children. We just we don't know because we let this one get away and didn't pursue like, like we should have. We as women have to work together to make this world a little bit better.